sense. I just don't like people using fake natural status as a means of making money. I think it's very disingenuous and very sneaky. Could be a controversial one today. Could be one that might land me in a bit of trouble because people are getting upset about this. But I figured, you know what, this is a comment I received so many times in the past and actually to this day still get comments on the videos I've done on her, which is Caroline. And it is gonna be surrounding her natural status because I have a lot of people say that they believe she is natural. I have a lot of people say that they believe she is a natural and often people say that they don't think you can achieve the physique she's achieved, especially with home workouts, without the use of performance enhancing drugs. And we're going to talk about that. Before we get into this video, I do want to say a couple of things. Firstly, if you haven't already, please do consider clicking the subscribe button down below. I would very much appreciate it. And secondly, I have no issue with t people taking performance enhancing drugs or not. Completely irrelevant to me. It's their body, their choice. I have an issue with people lying about it. So when people say they're natural, but they're obviously not because they're likely trying to do so to sell you something and be a bit snaky by saying, look, you can achieve what I've achieved without drugs if you take these supplements because I have. They're lying to you to make money. I don't respect that. I don't appreciate that. If they don't say anything about it at all and just don't claim natural or not, I respect that a lot because quite frankly, it's none of my business. I just don't like people using fake natural status as a means of making money. I think it's very disingenuous and very sneaky, but that's a topic for later on. But for now, Caroline. So if you're watching this video, you probably know who Caroline is. She's a very popular home workout creator who hasn't really been very active on YouTube for a while because she kind of transitioned over to an app-based workout platform. Fair enough, I don't blame her. That's kind of like the natural progression of things when you are a workout creator on YouTube, as YouTube can only really go so far and it's not gonna be around forever. A lot of people know her for her physique. Quite frankly, she has a very impressive physique and a lot of people know her compared to a lot of the other home workout creators as being potentially one of the most, again, this is based on what people have said, not based on my opinion here, one of the most muscular home workout creators on the platform of YouTube, which then often goes into the realm of is she natural or is she taking in steroids perhaps? And a lot of people do call out that they think she's on steroids because of her abdominal definition, her potentially capped shoulders, the amount of muscle mass she's housing, especially considering she works out at home Home, therefore equipment is going to be limited which in turn could limit how much you progression you can make from a muscular developed standpoint depending on what you have access to obviously if you watched the previous video we kind of think about what things could you consider when looking at whether somebody's natural or enhanced granted you can never tell for certain it's all going to be saying i think this but that is genuinely just based on opinion there is no fact or evidence surrounding it it's just based on what we can gather all the evidence of what we know about drugs and what we know about the physique and whatnot in the human body this could allow us to then make a decision of realistically you're probably more likely this than that because because of XYZ. And again, there are considerations when you're on steroids. So again, with women, we could typically assume that if there is a base use of testosterone, perhaps, you would likely assume that uh, an oral steroid might be used as well, because things like Anavar are typically labeled as the quote unquote woman steroid because they're very commonly used by women. So we can make the assumption if a woman were to be taking PDs, they might consider something like Anavar. It's not a particularly overly strong anabolic. It is relatively mild compared to a lot of the other ones and it may align best with what a lot of women who might be looking at taking performance enhancing drugs might desire. We'd look at things like potentially like capped delts, a dry hard look, developed traps, etc etc. Again these are all just things that people have considered that you might assume somebody might be taking something because these seem to be common traits that those taking things seem to exhibit but there is no real evidence surrounding that. It's purely essentially anecdotal and hearsay. We look at the delts I particularly capped, they're just fairly developed and she's fairly lean. We look at the, the face, to be honest. So there are certain considerations where if you're taking PDs, they could potentially, if this is the right word, masculinize, is that a word? We're gonna say it is, some body parts. So especially with women, they may notice that they could potentially develop a bit of an Adam's apple. They could develop a bit more of a defined jawline. So more masculine features might become more prominent. This is going to also hair loss, but also hair growth in certain areas, a deepening of the voice, etc etc so we look at that from an external perspective of does caroline exhibit potentially masculine features that might have been triggered by 
performance enhancing drugs? I'm actually going to say no. Then you take it away and you kind of say, from first glance, when looking at Caroline, would I consider that she might be taking PEDs, the performance enhancing drugs? And quite frankly, based on her physique, based on the potential known side effects of what these drugs could do to certain individuals, again, granted side effects are going to be different amongst different people. You could take paracetamol and have no problems. Someone else could take paracetamol and have loads of digestive problems. Who knows? So it is very individualized in that sense. But look at her. I don't, I don't look at her and think steroids. I don't look at her and think performance enhancing drugs. I look at her and think she's obviously very genetically gifted. She's obviously in great shape. She's been doing this for many years. And quite frankly, why would she? Because the thing you have to remember is what would her motives be? So realistically, Caroline is a very known in the home workout scene. Most people who engage in home workouts probably aren't looking at putting on as much muscle mass as possible. They're not looking at becoming bodybuilders. They're not looking at developing incredible amounts of muscle mass on their frame. I think it's fair to say, especially based on what a lot of applications for TFL coaching when people are working at home say, they, they want to get a bit more muscular, look a bit more defined, and just kind of improve their quality of life through exercise and improve the development of their physique through working out at home. So I consume, as that's a common thing when looking at TFNL coaching applications, a similar thing's probably occurring here, is that people are probably just looking at getting in better shape, building a bit of muscle, getting a bit stronger, working out, doing all those things that resistance training will often entail. So what benefit would Caroline get from developing a really unattainable physique through the use of performance enhancing drugs? Because it actually would likely deter people from following her channel as they might turn around and say, I don't wanna look like her oh no, she, she's too big for me, she's too muscular for me, she's too this, she's too that. Again, I'm not saying that's my opinion, but I'm saying this is what people might say. That would, in my opinion, probably actually negatively impact her, her channel and negatively impact what she's trying to achieve. So from a motive perspective, I don't really think the motive is there for her to consider taking PEDs because again, I don't think it would serve her and what she's trying to achieve, which again is another considering factor when assessing whether she might be natural or enhanced. So another thing is we look at her physique from here, which is 155 weeks ago, so essentially three years ago, to this, which is 20 weeks ago, has her physique changed massively? Not really, no. I would arguably say the physique is very comparable in the sense that in the last near three or so years, bear in mind this was 20 weeks ago, so we'll say two and a half years, she has not made mass amounts of progress. From a progression standpoint, when looking at things like performance enhancing drugs, you would expect her to be making fair progress and potentially even making huge jumps in progress depending on what she might be doing. Again, someone might say, oh, she's taking drugs to maintain. I doubt it. I really doubt it. I can't say for certain. Firstly, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a, a medical professional. I am simply a man on YouTube who's qualified in certain fitness-related things that have no relevance to performance enhancing drugs, Give my opinion based on what I know on the topic and what a lot of people have said who are probably a lot more clued up than I am on the topic. And quite frankly, from my perspective, where I'm sitting, what I'm observing here, although I cannot say for certain, I would be baffled if Caroline were taking any performance enhancing drugs to achieve the physique she's achieved. Quite frankly, what I would say is I feel more confident in saying she's likely natural and has actually just done this consistently for countless years, which is actually where a lot of people are falling short, is a lot of those people who are saying, oh, I think she's on this, I think she's on that, are probably quite new to fitness or aren't actually that consistent. They may have been doing it for a fair amount of time, but have they been doing it to the best of their abilities consistently? Probably not. You have to remember that Caroline's job, so her primary source of income, is going to be related to fitness and workouts. So it is in her best interest for her living and for her career, and potentially even her family if she does have one, to be consistent because a lot of her marketing will come from her physique and a lot of the product and services she's selling are gonna be related to her actually keeping up with workouts and actually performing them because when she does these workouts, she actually does them. If she doesn't do the workouts, she's not promoting anything, she's not selling anything, she's not making money. And if she looks like she's not training, that's gonna be a deterring fact that people say, maybe I don't want to look like her. Whereas a lot of people do watch videos of hers and say, I want to look like her. So again, you've got to consider it's her job to remain consistent and clearly she's doing a pretty bloody good job if you ask me. Whether somebody is or isn't on PDs is actually largely irrelevant. If she is taking them, does that mean you will achieve her physique if you took them? Probably not. If she isn't taking them, does that mean you'd be able to achieve her physique if you took them? Again, probably not. Caroline has her structure, her genetics, and her limitations of how far she can go, which are probably gonna be very different to yours. So just because somebody is natural or enhanced does not determine whether their physique is naturally attainable because it may be naturally attainable for them, but it probably isn't for you, regardless whether they are or not. Your natural limitations and natural peak is gonna be what's naturally attainable for you. To find out what that is, 
you've got to push yourself as far as you can go. These are simply just my thoughts and opinions. You may agree with them, you may disagree with them, and that's absolutely fine. Regardless, I love to hear yours in the comment section below, so please do let me know. But until the next one, thank you for tolerating me. Thank you for tolerating my waffle about things that probably shouldn't matter. And thank you for tolerating the video.